Picking up your new baby can seem scary, especially if you haven't had a lot of practice. The regular action of picking up your baby, sometimes many multiple times in a day, can be an awesome opportunity to truly connect with your new little person. You can even start introducing them to concepts that they will need and use in their first developmental milestones. Today, we're talking about picking up your baby and we are going to use a song to help us learn the best way to do this. If I haven't met you yet, I'm Phoebe and I combine music and movement together to help caregivers and parents connect deeply with their new little babies. I also coach parents and caregivers on how to provide the ideal environment for learning and developing. In this video, I'm going to teach you the little song to help learn how to pick up your baby. Then I'm going to demo how I would use the song to pick up a baby. Then I'm going to demo using the song while picking up the baby while explaining how some of the movements that you're using and the words that you're singing help your child on their next developmental milestone. First, the song. The song has a very familiar tune and I bet you are going to recognize it. First, we're going to tell our babies what we are going to do. And then we're going to have them notice what it is that we're doing. And then we're going to narrate a little bit about what we're doing. And then we're going to finish up with a little hug. So here's the song. I am going to pick you up now. Feel my hands under you. We are going slowly, we are going gently, now we're up, now we're up. Now I'm going to get Dahlia, my doll, because I don't have a little baby right now, and I'm going to demo how to use this song with a baby. So we have our baby and maybe our baby is on a table or maybe our baby is in a crib or maybe our baby is in a stroller or in some other kind of situation. But each time and you need to pick them up, you can use this little song to help them to make the transition and to help you make the transition too because it helps you to remember to narrate what it is you're going to be doing so they can anticipate what's going to happen. It helps you to slow down. And this is very important because a new baby's brain is making one million new connections every second. The more you slow down, the more optimal the conditions are for those new connections in their brains to make sense. Now I'm going to demo the song with Dahlia, my dolly. Dahlia, how nice to see you. I am going to pick you up now. Feel my hands. And just like that, you picked up your baby and sang them a little song too. So now I'll sing the song again to Dahlia and just let you in on the little secrets of how to provide the conditions for optimal learning and for meeting their next 
milestone. So first I put my hand on my baby and I tell her what it is we're going to be doing. I am going to pick you up now. And the more times you start picking your baby up with this little song, with this little melody and these words, the more your baby is going to anticipate what is coming next. And this is an amazing skill for a baby to have, to know what's coming next. Most of the what's happening in the world is like soup in their brains. They don't know what's coming up. When you sing this little melody and these words together, your baby will start to learn. That is the sign that what happens next is that they are going to be picked up. And this gives your baby some agency so they know what is coming next. This was what it might look like. I am going to pick you up now. Then I'm going to tell her what I'm going to be doing next. Feel my hands under here. So I'm telling her what I'm doing, but I'm also asking her to start noticing what she is feeling, which is a very, very important part of learning how to do anything, is noticing what it is that you're doing. If you get to this part of the song and you notice that your hands are in a place which doesn't feel quite right to you, you can always sing that line again and change your hands. Now we've come to a part in the song where we can start introducing them to concepts that they are going to use in their first milestones. Things like rolling and shifting weight. But what we are also doing is encouraging them and encouraging ourselves to use the conditions for learning, which are slow and gentle. And by singing them, it helps us as parents and caregivers to be reminded of what works best. And it also helps the child gain the concepts of going slowly and gently too. If I put my hands on my child and move slowly and gently, they are going to feel even slower and gentler. And that's what we want. The tiny little brain needs tiny little movements and very, very gentle ones at that. We are going slowly. We are going gently. Now we're up. Now we're up. And just like that, you've made deep connections with your new little person you're telling them about what's happening in their world, you're showing them what's possible, you're creating the environment for developing and growing their brains. If you found this video interesting, entertaining, or useful, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get in touch when I put out new videos with new songs, bringing more music and movement into your life and into your child's childhood experience. Bye for now.